Hello and welcome to Tate Modern, and an exhibition devoted to the pioneering Russian abstract artist Kazimir Malevich. It's a show I've been looking forward to ever since Tate Modern opened in the year 2000, because no 20th century artist represents the spirit of modernity quite as vividly, as bravely as Malevich. Malevich was born in Kiev in 1879, and he came late to art. And in this first room in the exhibition, you can see him experimenting very busily with all these different styles. Intense Russian realism, faded pointillism, and these weird religious pictures. But there's very little of this messing around and in just a couple of years, he's absorbed all the lessons of Cubism and Futurism. And before you can say Pablo Picasso, he's painting modernist masterpieces as exciting an individual as this. This is his most radical picture painted originally in 1915. Black square on a white background. Today, it's almost 100 years old. But look how shockingly progressive it still feels. But having painted his most radical picture, wiped the slate clean, as it were, Malevich went on to paint these suprematist compositions. Everything in art is being reinvented. I think this is one of the most exciting rooms of art I've been in for a long time. In Russia, though, history was about to start messing up his life. The Bolshevik Revolution erupted, and when Stalin took over, abstract art was essentially banned. Malevich found himself sidelined and his career entered into a strange and jagged limbo. But then, at the end of the show, there's this curious coda, a sudden return to figurative art. It's as if he's still trying to make radical and abstract art while pretending to be a good social realist. This is a marvellous show. You really have to see it.